Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Rob, WD4IFT, and he has a question about grounding. Specifically, his question is about grounding the computer. And now the computer, of course, has a three-wire plug, and uh, it is uh, grounded uh, to the utility ground through that. Uh, the ham radio stuff, of course, the power supply has a three-wire plug, and that runs straight through. If you use something like this old uh, MF, not old, it's not old, it's brand new, in fact. This is an MFJ AC line filter, and the ground here is actually separated from the ground here by a filter. I mean, it's connected to DC, it's a ground, uh, but it filters any noise coming in on the ground leads, okay? Now, you don't want to circumvent that if you can. I haven't put that into my station yet because I've not had a need to. Now, um, here's the deal with the computer. I have discovered, and in my station you see this, the computer's down here, okay? All the computer stuff is over here. All the ham radio stuff is over here. And there's one connection between them, and that's the USB connector. Now, I want to look at what's inside the USB connector. Okay, the USB connector has four wires. One, two, three, four. One of these, and I can never remember, one of these is plus five volts. One of these is minus five volts, which is also in the computer connected to the utility ground. Okay. Now let's look at these other two, the two important ones right here. This right here is balanced. It's a balanced wire and it's send and receive. Remember, after all, USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. Okay, so it is a serial connection, it's balanced, and it goes both ways. Okay, and can do so at extremely high speeds. Now, the thing about this being balanced right here means it's separated from ground and stuff like that. So in the radio, especially like my radio here, the, the 7310, okay, where it goes in, it doesn't use the computer's power supply. So those wires don't go anywhere. The serial connection that's in here, okay, is powered by the radio. And uh, you can tell that because when you turn this thing on, you hear the beeps from the computer that it is connecting. Otherwise, it shows it's not connected. So there is not a direct connection between here and here, the radio, okay? Now, there is an outer shell on the conductor, but that's not connected to the wires that are inside. So the point being this, I have found in my case that what works best is leaving the radio over here, the computer over here, this has its ground. This right here is three, three wire and so it gets the utility ground and you have this serial cable in between that's not directly referenced to the ground. Now the reason for the balanced is because you can put the most uh, wave through it whereas you know an RS-232, if you're using an RS-232 that's a different story. An RS-232 contains a send line, a receive line, 
and a ground. Okay, so you do have a connection here. And you're going either this direction or this direction on different wires. Okay, that's not the way USB works. So, what I would suggest you do, if you can, you've got all the other things you want, your HF transceiver, which is an FTDX10, which is a kind of, kind of, a high-end radio, okay, DC switching power supply, the SEC1235M is the reference station power supply, Okay, the SWR meter, if you have an SWR meter like mine, this right here has a separate sensor, which is down over there. And yes, you do want to ground that. Okay, and now the computer, uh, you've got an iMac desktop. Um, I think I would leave the computer grounded to the utility ground through the three-wire plug and then let the USB act as a buffer between that and the radio. Keep the two far enough apart so you don't get RF into the line. Now they do make um, USB lines with uh, filters on them, the clamp-on uh, magnetic, thinking of the clamp on RFI suppressors uh, on each end if you do get a problem with RF going back and forth uh, between them. I have found that if you keep the computer equipment and the, the radio equipment separate, you're in good shape. So there you have it. Uh, I would suggest that. If you find that you need to ground the computer, I think I'd look first into those ferrite uh, clamp on things that go onto the USB cable or buy a USB cable that has those on both ends uh, would be a better way to address the problem of RFI getting one way or another. Also computers themselves can be kind of noisy. So there you have it. For those of you who would like to support this channel financially, you can certainly do so by going to decastlercom support and picking a way that works for you. Also, you can uh, check out the giveaway page. Every month I try to give something away of interest for ham radio operators. And uh, you can go to decastlercom slash giveaway and find out all the details. It really is free. All you have to pay is for the postage for the entry and that's it. I pay the postage and everything for what is coming your way. Um, so, until we next meet, 73.